Good day, dear people. So, part three of In Around is going to be coming, but it's going to be this time next week. Today, I'm uploading something a little different for this channel, and it comes as the result of the wildlife photography competition me and my friend Jack set up recently. We realised that we weren't getting too many entries in the in the home category, and as the point of the competition was to try and inspire people to engage with the wildlife closest to home, we decided to make this short video. Enjoy. Hello, I'm George McGavin, and I'm a zoologist and broadcaster. Now, like many people just now, I'm spending a lot more time at home than I normally do. And for nature lovers like me, not being able to get outside into wild places like woodlands and coastlines is particularly difficult, especially at springtime. But there's lots of things we can do with our time. For example, the Isolation Wildlife Photography Awards 2020. This is a photography and short film competition which encourages us to find wildlife closest to our home. Now we all know there's plenty of wildlife in our gardens, but if you know where to look, you'll find there's actually quite a lot of interesting things inside your houses. We share our homes with other animals whether we like it or not. And scurrying around your house, there might be several species of spider. You might not want them there, but hang on, they do a really good job of killing and eating mosquitoes, gnats and other flies. And if you put some of them outside, they won't do very well. They might even die as they come from warmer parts of the world and really have to live full time in our buildings. Well, I've set myself the challenge of finding and photographing three species of spider in my home and in fact hopefully I'll find them just in my office. The house spider, the cellar spider and the slightly more unusual spitting spider. Well house spiders are familiar to everybody and they're the ones that come out in the autumn uh, when the males rampage across your carpet hunting for females. But what's interesting is that they are, although they're big spiders, they are often eaten by cellar spiders which are actually quite spindly and quite small. And this has given rise to the myth that cellar spiders are the most venomous animals on earth. And they of course aren't, but they just are very sneaky and they wrap up the house spider very, very fast. Well, cellar spiders are quite easy to find because you can see them very easily as they hide in a tangle of web uh, at the corner of rooms and, and ceilings. The female, when she lays her eggs, actually carries them in her jaws in a little sort of silk bag. But what's interesting about cellar spiders is that they are hunted in turn by spitting spiders. Finding house spiders and cellar spiders is pretty straightforward because they are, they're active pretty much most of the time. House spiders tend to be more active after dark, but cellar spiders are, are just there, you can see them. But the spitting spider, that's a peculiarly nocturnal animal. And to find them, I'm going to have to become nocturnal myself. Well, it's two o'clock in the morning and I've just come down to go to my office to see if I can find something interesting. <sighs> One of the good reasons to have your room painted beige or pale, you can see spiders easily. There's a a Falcus flangeoid is a cellar spider or daddy long leg spider, which they're, they're often called. Oh, hold on, what's this? Ah, right, right at the top, right at the top of the roof. Oh my goodness. Well, that's just typical. Well, I knew that might happen, so I've got a step ladder here. Ooh. Which I'm gonna. I thought they would be. I thought I might have a chance of one of them high up. Is it or isn't it? Up we go. Oh yeah, that is a spitting spider. What makes them unique and remarkable is the way in which they hunt prey. It reaches out with two front legs which are quite long and it taps it. And when it's in the right position, it raises its head and fires out two streams of sticky glue from the fangs and they've come from the venom glands. And as they do it, they shake their head from side to side and they zigzag two little streams, little jets of glue which pin the prey down. Then they can advance, bite it, inject enzymes and eventually suck the whole contents of the prey out. But that is absolutely great. 
So what's really remarkable is that you've got three species of spider here. You've got the big house spider, which is preyed on by the much smaller cellar spider. And in turn, the spitting spider, which is quite unusual, preys on the cellar spider. And that's all happening right under your roof. So there you go, I hope you weren't put off by our eight-legged friends. If you enjoyed the video, please do share it because I really think it goes to show just what interesting wildlife you can find absolutely anywhere if you take the time to look. So thank you for watching and we'll be back to the regular scheduled programming next week. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you.